Hello friends, in this video we will learn about parts per million and parts per billion. So these are very minor topics, they don't usually come in exam but since we are pharmacist and we, we will work as a pharmacist in Canada, so we must know all calculations. Usually parts per million and parts per billion are used when we have to make a very 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 diluted solution for example you have to introduce some specific ions or elements like fluoride in water so very minor quantity of fluoride in a huge amount of water so there we will use parts per million or parts per billion calculations so let's begin start with the definition of parts per million so ppm means parts of solute in 1 million that is 10 exponential 6 parts of preparation in formula it it looks like this ppm is equals to parts of solute divided by 10 exponential 6 parts of preparation now here i use the word parts when the preparation is weight by weight then ppm will be grams of solute divided by 10 exponential 6 grams of preparation. Remember the nominator and denominator have same unit. So if there is kilogram then denominator will also have kilogram and so on. Then if we have weight by volume preparation ppm will be grams of solute divided by 10 exponential 6 milliliters of preparation. Remember, grams and milliliter. Then if we have volume by volume preparation, then ppm will be milliliter of solute divided by 10 exponential 6 milliliter of preparation. Remember, if there is liter, then in denominator we will keep liters. So concentrate on units if you got these type of questions in exam the unit remain same now all the questions in this video are from pharmaceutical calculations 13th edition of uh, 13th edition by howard c ansel we usually call ansel for this book so all these questions i am solving here are from this book and I am putting this reference in my description and below here first question we get express 5 ppm of iron in water as ratio strength and in percentage strength I will link my videos where I demonstrate how to calculate ratio strength and percentage strength if you didn't watch it please watch 5 ppm means five parts in one million parts so for ratio strength we will write it like five is to one million and when we solve it we get one is to two hundred thousand that's the ratio strength and when we have to calculate percentage strength we will multiply it with hundred to make it percent so five divided by 1 million multiply by 100 we got 0.0005% next question if a city water supply has a limit of 250 parts per million of nitrate ion what is the maximum amount of nitrate ion in grams that may be present in 10,000 gallon reservoir so you see this minimum amount into 10 gallon reservoir so first we convert all the units one gallon is equals to 3.785 liters 10,000 gallon will be equals to 37,850 liters 
Now parts per million are 1 million milliliters. We convert it into liters. So it will be 1000 liters. Now we put all our values. If 250 grams is in 1000 liters, remember it is in parts per million and we already converted here. So X grams in 37,850 liters. When we solve it, we got 9,462.5 grams. Next question. If a commercially available insulin preparation contains 1 ppm of pro-insulin, how many micrograms of pro-insulin would be contained in a 10 ml vial of insulin? So here they ask about micrograms. So first we convert 1 ppm, 1 gram into 1 million microgram. Now put our values since it is 1 ppm. So here instead of writing 1 gram, we are putting in microgram. So you can see it, but since I am demonstrating, so I put it in a separate step but when 1 million cancel out 1 million so 10 left in exam if you get ex uh, question uh, do it fast do not take do not uh, waste in time with extra steps but here I am demonstrating you that's why I put this extra step here so 1 million microgram divide by 1 million milliliters multiply by 10 milliliters is equals to 10 micrograms of Pro insulin simple the concentration of a drug additive in an animal feed is 12.5 parts per million how many milligrams of the drug should be used in preparing 5.2 kilogram of feed So here we have to find out answer in grams and the quantity is in kilogram. We will solve in grams and then we will convert everything. So 12.5 grams in 1 million grams, x gram in 5200. That is when 5.2 kilogram will convert into grams, it will be 5200 grams. Okay, so when we Multiply it with 12.5 and divided by, divided by parts per million, we got 0 0.065 grams. And here we are multiplying this answer with 1000 to convert it into milligram. That is 65 milligram. Next question. The drinking water in a community has detected lead in its drinking water at a level of 2.5 parts per billion. The environmental protection agency's maximum contaminant level is set at 15 parts per billion. Express the difference between these two values as a ratio strength. We have 15 parts per billion minus 2.5 parts per billion result 12.5 parts per billion when we put it 12.5 is to 1 billion and solve it we got 1 is to 80 million answer that's the percentage strength oh sorry ratio strength next question purified water contains not more than 10 ppm of total solid Express this concentration as a percentage. 10 ppm divided by parts per million multiplied by 100 for percentage. We got 0.001% weight by volume. Then our last question is how many grams of sodium fluoride should be added to 100 thousand liters of drinking water containing 0.6 parts per million of sodium fluoride 
to provide a recommended concentration of 1.75 parts per million. So recommended is 1.75 parts per million. We already have 0.6 parts per million in 100,000 liters. First, we convert everything. 100,000 liters means 1 billion ml. When we put everything according, 0.6 grams in million is equals to x grams in 100 million. So we got 60 grams. And then the required one is 1.75 parts per million x gram in 100 million when we calculate it we got 175 grams so we already have 60 gram when we minus 60 grams to 175 we got 115 grams that is the amount of sodium fluoride we have to add in 100,000 liters of drinking water all these questions were from Ansel Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and take a very good care of yourself. Thank you. Bye-bye.